today I wanted to bring you guys an empties video. Um, I think I've I've tried to do one before, but I don't know if it's worked out. But I used up a, quite a few items this month, and I so I thought I would do like a quick one-line review of them and um, tell you guys whether or not I would repurchase them. And if you any of you guys have any, you know, like empties for this month, you can leave them in the comment section below so I could, you know, try out some new products. Um, so let's just get started. I have quite a few different items. I Let's start with this. Um, this is my Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep um, Hand Cream. It's the Lavender and Chamomile scent. And I absolutely love, 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 love this, this um, hand lotion. And I use it every single day before I go to bed. Um, and it is pretty much completely out. Um, and I, of course, I'm going to repurchase that because I've been using it for years and I love it. Um, the next thing I used up is one of my... the Body Shop's um, day creams, the Aloe Soothing Day Cream. Again, I'm going to repurchase it. I love it. It's part of my daily skincare routine, so I actually already repurchased it. I always have a backup of them. I usually buy a Groupon when it comes out off the Body Shop, when you can get um, $20 of items for $10. And so I, I just buy a Groupon, and then that way it's a little bit cheaper. Um... And so yeah, of course, gonna repurchase it. I already have. Um, the next thing I used up is this Tuscan Hills shower gel. It's in Olive Harvest. I don't know if you guys have heard of this company. They sell, I think, exclusively at stores like um, Marshalls and TJ Maxx and that type of thing. I haven't actually done much research on this. I will look up if I can find them. Um, you know, in in like online world, and I will post a link for it in my down bar. But I. To be honest with you, I I would not I'm not gonna re really repurchase that just because firstly I don't know where to get it. Secondly, I wasn't overly thrilled with it, and I got it in as part of a set. It was um, the shower gel and bath salts and a scrub, and I uh, I'm still using the scrub. I haven't finished that one, but I did use the the shower gel up, um, and I also used up the bath salts. These I actually only used up in like two two bats just because there's not a whole lot in them it was like uh let me see it's a nine ounce jar so a couple bats not a big deal um again i didn't i wasn't completely thrilled with the scent and the bat salts were okay bat salts so but another bat salt that i used up is this ginormous jar i've had this for so long and i had meant to use it up but i kept getting to and this is by willows and bloom um it's in the orchid scent, and oh, this smelled really, really good. But I just kept forgetting about it because I would buy new things, and then I'd use start using the new things, and then forget about the old things. So, um, but I I had decided that this month I'm going to use up all of my old bath salts. Um, so I have another jar right here. This was um, a set of bath salts that my friend made. She d she made it herself. She put like real lavender inside it, and it was in this cute little jar. So I have, I'm holding on to the. Oh, I'm holding on to the jar to just put it right um, on my desk because it's so pretty. But yeah, I, you know, I like that too and I use that up. By the way, have you guys noticed I'm wearing hoops today? I have not worn hoops in like 10 years. But um, I saw them and I was like, oh, I should wear these today. So yeah, there we are. Um, the next thing I used up uh, is the um, Sephora Daily Brush Cleanser. Um, now, I don't think that Sephora sells this particular exact same thing anymore well maybe they do I, I i know that i've seen the packaging and it's completely different now than it used to be so um maybe it's the same thing maybe it's not i haven't repurchased this yet because i am trying out a new brush cleaner which is a diy one which i looked up um and i found a recipe on pinterest and i'm trying it and i don't know what i think of it yet but once i decide whether it's good or bad if it's good then I will share the recipe with you guys because it's a really 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 inexpensive alternative to buying a daily brush cleaner um, and then the next one I have here is my simple kind to eyes um, makeup cl cleanser it was this like a makeup cleaning eye makeup remover that's it excuse me it was the eye makeup remover, and um, I used this up. And there's a little bit left. I'll probably use this, you know, tonight, and um, that should be it. 
uh, but I will pick more of this up when I go back to England. It's super expensive here. They do sell it here, but it's really, really expensive and it's so much cheaper in England. So since I'm going back, I may as well pick some up. Um, and then I also used up my Dream Cream from Lush. This is my absolute favorite body cream. This is completely, I mean, I have really used this up. Um, and I will repurchase this. I really love this for the winter because I have, I've said this before, I have really, really dry skin. And this is so hydrating, so moisturizing. I love it for a body butter. But I have been looking at the Kyle's Coles. Uh, I don't know how to say it. But another, I'll put a little picture of it right here if I can find it online. Um, another little um, body butter that I've been looking at and I've been lusting over. It's a little bit pricey, but I think I'm going to get that one instead of this just to try that out. I've heard some great things about it. Um, a makeup thing that I used up is my Sephora um, Outrageous Volume Mascara, which I probably have used up like six months ago, but I kept holding on to it and now it's definitely gone because it's very clumpy at the bottom. I'm actually planning to wash this wand out if I can and hold on to it for when my mascara gets a little bit clumpy to clean up. I'm going to try and do that and see if it works out. If it works out, I'll again share that with you guys as well. But yeah, I've had that for ages and ages and I probably should have tossed it out a while Next back. Next thing I have here is a another body body uh whip this is by apothecary in the scent poppy this is so it smells so amazing Every i'm definitely going to repurchase this i got this as part of my birch box like last year at some point and i had forgotten all about it but then i pulled it back out and started using it and i love it love it um so definitely will be buying that and a candle that i used up i used up three candles this month can you believe that um and this one is by Bath and Body Works. It's in the scent Paris Daydream. It also smells stunning. It's completely gone, even though it looks like there might be a little bit left. There isn't a wick in it anymore. And I am going to clean out the jar and use it to just store little pins. You probably saw it in the back over there. I was just, you know, storing my little hair clips and things like that in it. So it's, you know, this was a present or it was on sale or something. So I picked it up like last year in in the winter at some point i think they still have this um and i'll put a link for it for where you can purchase it um in the down bar again another candle that i used up is this one um this is by dw homeware this is uh i picked this up at home goods or actually raj picked it up for me for um for my birthday from home goods and I love the scent of this. There's actually a little bit, maybe like one burn left in here. Um, but it, every time I burn it, it just blows out. So I don't know if it's really, there's anything left. If not, I will again clean out this jar. This is really beautiful, heavy. It's a heavy jar. So I can store like cotton wool or something like that in here. If not, it's just a pretty little jar to have on my back thing over there. Another candle that I used up, I have to grab it. This one, it is in the scent Lavender Garden and it's by the Old Williamsburg Candle Company and I love these um, Old Williamsburg candles. They are three for ten dollars at AC Moore um, and I think at Michael's as well. I, th I think these, this particular one I got from AC Moore and I usually just stock up whenever they have that three for ten dollar offer. Um, and I, I'll, you know, buy three of the valent lavender ones or three, Valentine's, three of the lavender ones or three of the lilac ones because those two are my favorite. And they smell like Yankee candles. Like, the scent is amazing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below and um, click like and subscribe if you enjoyed any of my videos and if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.